James Gunn, James Gunn, what's up, son? I mean, just what in the hell are you thinking? You've been given a golden opportunity to recreate the DC Universe, and you just keep stepping your tiny little feet into the proverbial shit. Just when it looked like you just might be onto something, when you just might be able to prove the millions of naysayers and gun haters alike wrong, you go and get caught up in a, another fabrication, a tall tale, a non-truth, or to be blunt, another lie. You go and hire your brother to fill yet another character role in a DC project. Little Jimmy, dude, are you running out of actors who are willing to work with you? So you have to use your bro over and over? Perhaps you get the old bro two for the price of one deal, you know, cheaper. Whatever your reasoning is, it's making you look, well, kind of desperate. One-sided, like you're, well, running out of ideas. Look, I'm guilty of the Jimmy Gunn beat down myself. As a Snyder fan, I was offended that you were put in charge of DC at all. I say you because Saffron has yet to open his freaking mouth on anything, so little Jimmy, all the accolades, or in this case, all the what in the hells are you thinking, fall squarely on you. I started to look past your overzealous approach to dumping the previous DC actors in order to create the universe in your wannabe messiah-like image. I caved into your obsession with filling your very first standalone Superman movie with every other DC character that you could possibly think of. I even started to accept your weird fondness for whoever the creature commandos in the authority are. But dude, man, hiring your brother for multiple roles in DC films when you've just jettisoned previous actors from their roles? It's just a crappy, one-sided, narcissistic thing to do. If Snyder fans didn't all dislike you before, well, they just might jump on the little Jimmy Gunn hate train now, but you know what? I truly believe you won't even care. I think you will laugh at what you perceive as their own ignorance and arrogance, and I think you will stand in the room full of mirrors in your mind fully knowing that you are correct and untouchable. And you know what? Maybe you just might be right, but maybe... Just maybe, six or seven months from now, if and when Zasloff and his boys decide to sell off WB, you just might get shaken awake to realize that it was all simply a dream. But don't worry. We all know by now that Star-Lord didn't die, and there's always room for him in Guardians of the Galaxy 4, so we think you still probably have a job. Weasel. Calendar Man. G.I. Robot, Maxwell Lord. Who's next? Batman? Superman? How about Wonder Woman? Green Lantern? The Flash? I don't know what you're thinking, man. Well, my friends, if it just came off like I was having a rant, well, maybe I was in a way. It's sometimes you can only take so much of a certain thing um hope i didn't put anybody off it's just how i feel um you want to express your thoughts on the show please feel free down below in the comment section and if you would please subscribe and hit that like button and, and ring that bell so you can get notified of the the next sock show as always thanks for stopping by god bless socks out